A warning or a threat. A few years ago I and a couple friends were into the whole ghost hunting deal. We had two video cameras and a tape recorder. We just went around everywhere trying to capture some kind of evidence. What was funny about it was, the guy whose idea it was to go to these haunted locations would always wait in the car and send me and my other mate in. Anyway we had no luck so we decided to go extreme and go to cemeteries late at night. We went to a few with no footage ORBS or EVPS, but we didn't give up. We went to one near the Auckland airport. That was our first experience. I was smoking a cigarette and went to walk in then I thought that's disrespectful so I went back out to put out the smoke and it was cold, the ciggy I had just been smoking. I ignored it and went on. We walked around recording with one camera and the tape recorder. When we got back to the car we were gutted that there was no video footage, but on my tape recorder there was something that sounded like very heavy breathing and the two of us that went in were real quiet so we couldn't figure out what it was. It only made us more game, so we went to another one a few nights later out in Howick East Auckland. That was the most activity we had ever seen. Three of us walked in this time and filmed a bit when one friend suggested we leave the camera there for around five minutes then come back and collect it. It worked. We set it up on an old stone bench and left. When I drove off I beeped the horn so we knew when we left the camera. Five minutes passed then we came back to collect it. We were shocked at the find. About ten seconds after we walked in, there was a noise like a dog barking but it was dead silent. We all agreed there wasn't a single sound, no dogs, crickets, nothing when we were there. We turned the volume right up and listened carefully. We eventually figured out it was saying get out get out. That freaked us out, but we continued to watch and about 30 seconds after the beep when we left there was some kind of dark shadow moving across the gravestones, as if something walked past, but there was nothing there. That was the final straw. We left immediately. We have never gone back. I don't know if get out was a warning or a threat but we didn't want to stick around and find out. If you are brave enough check it out for yourself go for it, but I will never go back there again.